You promised Pokemon? I fucking know, dude. I know. One in one, baby. That's what we're doing. We're doing variety. One in one. 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 Listen, dude, this is this is true variety, okay? If you want, if you want fucking all the goodies, if you want to fucking not miss a second of Master Chef, you just gotta you gotta watch it all. It's just how it is. It's just how it goes, you know. The slumbering Lord of the Tundra. It's currently two and one. What do you mean two and one? We'll finish Pokemon tomorrow though, right? I mean, I want to finish it tonight. Holy freak. I'm way up past my bedtime. Was the electric boss hard? Uh, no. There's no match for me. There's more after this fight. There's more after this fight. I like that he goes up a little bit. Do I like the music? I wish there was more variety in the music, just like I wish there was more variety in the Pokemons. Just like I wish there was more variety in the textures. Just like I wish there was more variety in the characters that you see. Just like I wish there was more variety in the fucking... Like, every part of this game could be better if it was more full. Wait, why is that Machok not doing shit to the other? Fucking got him, dude. Oh no, he's running away. He's not running away. What do I, how do... Worked up Machok. I feel like Machoke is like a sick. Oh, I should have just used Sylveon. He's like a sick fucking beefy, bro. He's got gains and shit. And I wish he was like able to just. Oh my God, he just fucking destroyed him. That's what, that's what Sylveon does to transphobes. Not that Machoke is one. Why? Why, if it isn't Asan, with the pleasure of finding a familiar face or any face this far in the corner of Alabaster Islands? I came to bring Garrick and order of swords caps because we're from the same neighborhood. You know, I'm Swedish and he's Norwegian. And he was more than willing to have a chat about Evelug. What do you say? Interested in a bit of gossip? And why wouldn't you be? So Avalug, yes, the fifth of his Swiss nobles. That he is. And you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground before you. Doesn't that seem a bit powerful to take on? What's more, apparently the Avalug of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be all right. You just have to eat some sword caps. Then give your training. You're all nothing better than for building muscle than that. 
Wait, sword caps actually heal me as a character? Wait, if I eat a sword cap? Oh no. Short Gale, you're being really fo oh! <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna fucking do something here. question i'm going to change the moves 40 40 quick attack swift tackle wait that sucks sylveon definitely needs more You need to watch the police press conference in Minneapolis about Amir Locke, Jacob Frey, and the police chief got home. Chat, do you know what Rhyhorn evolves into? Calm mind is a good setup move. Instead of baby doll eyes, I think maybe. I never use setup moves though. Sylvester, uh, two, think of the five gifted. You have to get good moves with the village dude it is wild i don't think there's a single other fucking streamer in this in this entire website that Im instant loses people when he starts when he turns over the video games like i don't think there's a single streamer that loses this much when he turns over the video games i, I sh straight up oh my god one tapped okay this guy's at level 70 i did not realize that it was like it was going to be like that Mischief sometimes does? No, not this much, though. I'm telling you, not a single person this much. It's because you suck ass at video games? Yeah, dude. I suck ass at Pokemon. Yeah, thanks, Death Man. Here. <laughs> a video game that is liter quite literally made for babies, like... Yeah, there's no way I can catch it. He's at level 70. I'll just kill it. Just be glad that there isn't breeding in this game. Otherwise, especially Danny's going to be out in full force. There's no way I can catch that. I'm just going to... That's why I killed it. Shining hunting when Arjan Pogo. You're not exactly cranking eight in nineties in Fortnite. I mean, there's no cranking nineties in this game. Have you started wearing vests? So we are to quill 
uh, Vlog as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out, or maybe your real strength comes from the way you walk among both people and Pokemons. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. Sharing my subversary again, Lamel. And there you have it. If you truly wish to quell Avalog, then walk on. The path lies before you, but know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. I'm gonna fucking get absolutely destroyed. What the fuck it what? Oh, this is this is fucking straight up Dark Souls, dude. This is Polka Souls. I'm so gonna die. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh, I don't even know what his attacks are. Ah! Okay, this boss battle is actually difficult as fuck. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm so dead. This is literally, this is a, this is a bullet hell. Like this is a fucking... Okay, well, that was ridiculous. Okay, this is the hardest boss battle. It is a game made for babies, but... Wait, oh, come on. That was an easy one to dodge, too. Did that even work? Am I hitting it? Oh, come. What the fuck is that? Okay, that's not that hard. That's that's easier to Wait, what do I use for this? What do I use for this chat? Chat, what do I use for this? Wait, why can't I battle him? That was bullshit. Oh, finally. Okay.
Rock is super effective. Ice is super effective. Or no, ice is not very effective. Ground is super effective. And fighting is super effective. Fuck, rollout sucks though. All right, I'll just use this for now. Not going to be enough to kill it, but. He's going to one tap me. Oh my God. Should he use flamethrower? Why? Let's see. I hope it obscures. Oh my fucking Christ, dude. I'm going to die, though. I, I, I mean, I figured out the battle now. Unless he's got, like, new moves that I'm un unaware of. Oh shit, he's doing... Oh, baby. He's doing bowl. He's doing the most! He's doing the most! What?! Come the fuck on, dude! Oh, I'm dead! Thank God, holy shit. Really, Fizz? Really? Fizz? Really? My own moderator saying thank God? Wait, what was the other one? What did the what happened with the other Gamba? 49 million points on Black South, 3 million on Survive. That is fucking crazy. I have no believers. I only have doubters. Been a blast. Thumbs up. That's bananas, dude. Really? I only have doubters? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, come on. I never, I should never get hit there. Like, that's not even a thing. Like, I should never get hit there. All right, where is it? Come on. Does he go in a line? Oh, what? Oh, he fucking... I'm already on black. That's fucking bullshit. I'm so stupid. Oh shit! Where is he? Where's he at? Where's he at? Come on, one more, just one more. 
Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Give me one more. Strong style. Dude, I am so, I'm so torqued. I'm literally fucking torqued up. Fucking farm the doubters. Oh my god, my chest is beating, dude. Oh, come on, really? Really? 25 million said blackout, 28 million said survives. How? How? I fucking hate that, like, you guys were... I hate that this time you were, like, on it. How did it go from 95%? 94% doubt to 50-50? That's high. Motherfuckers have figured out my learning curve. Like, this is not acceptable. What you're doing is unacceptable. I don't like being the subject of Gamba like this. Eric, sir, you needn't look so quite so downcast. But, but, but seeing mighty Avila quilled and by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this a Zamboy, some kind of monster in disguise? He is no monster. He is the one who risked his life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied, suffering nobles. Azan, Garrick cares for the poor clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida. I know your fears will change once you see what I've seen. Azan has much to teach us. He's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife, so long as our Pokemon with us. He's made me want to help Glaceon realize greater strength as well. And to see my whole world grow broader. It seems you've already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull- I knew you could pull that off as on. You quelled every last frenzy noble, so that state space-time rift is gonna start closing up now, or what? Nope. This little way of knowing for sure. Though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange lightning, we should still be alright as long as we've got a Zahn. Indeed we should be. It's good to have him at our side. What is this? Maybe it's just me, but I love one ball piker. Okay, dude, that's the cutter one. But you Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Damn, dude. We just realized the only one true God is the almighty Sinnoh, and Muhammad is its prophet, and the Shia-Sunni conflict has come to a close. That is exactly what the story, uh, the, this Pokemon story is. Look who's finally seen reason! Anyway, now that we've called that last noble, I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll find a crack a smile for us. The Shia Sino conflict? God damn, dude, I fucking clapped the ass cheeks of that goddamn almighty Pokemon, dude.
Fantastic stuff, as always. I'm sure the commander is eagerly awaiting your report. To the village! Master Chef time? Are you serious? Bro, it's been 20 minutes, dog. I started 20 minutes ago I started playing. You're you have to recognize you're insane, right? You're you're fucking out of your mind, I think. It's like 45 seconds of gameplay, Master Chef when Pogo? Each of the Pokemon nobles became frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. I hope you have a great rest of your stream, comrade. And to think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself with a wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the survey Corps' work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in Hisui without fearing the Pokemon all around us. So, um, so there's like, after this, there's a post game, right? Thanks for the nice, sizable help of your potential Moki, old Benny, old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. By the way, everybody makes fun of me for eating the same meal every day. Meanwhile, you know, these guys that you're literally not done. Yes, but you're not finished the main game. Okay, got it. Having the nobles all quelled puts a grave rest. Grave third to rest. Now it's time we focused on our survey work. Though we still count that our god down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. I've certainly had my reservations as to whether Abelug needed quelling. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, yeah, someone might have been under attack by some frenzy noble this very moment if Azan hadn't come falling out of the sky for us. I still wonder, though, just what is the space-time rift anyway? And what will make it finally go? Wait, if the rifts were to vanish, would that leave us on stranded here? Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village, as I Now then, tomorrow's upon us. It'll be another hard day. So, um, I like that, uh, you know, he keeps saying... He keeps saying he's like working hard. Assistant, come on now, Akari. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full fledged member of the survey call too. Akari and Professor Dickhead over here have done nothing. Okay? Like nothing at all. Like they're like, oh man, our little team is doing the most. It's like, bitch, what do you mean our little team is doing the most? I'm doing the most. You're doing nothing. You just fucking, you just chill and you eat potato mochis like disaster looming. Uh oh. Here, do you guys want me to wear this dude? This is better. I mean, I'll get, I'll get drip from the fucking, I'll get drip for the finale. If I can, I feel like there's going to be a cut, impenetrable cutscene. Oh shit. People saying that hat looks like a cake pan are being racist, xenophobic, anti-Asian. Stop, stop Asian hate, dude. Oh, 
Well, I guess I done fucked it up, dude. Yeah, you're being sinophobic. So yeah, we I guess we shouldn't have opened that portal, huh? You're to report to his office at once, so we what the fuck are you doing? Fucked it up. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did not realize this. Pokemon is literally evangelical, actually. Like while the non-believer Muslims that believe in the fake Abrahamic religion were fighting amongst themselves. Believing in the almighty Sinnoh, it turns out, actually, Megiddo was coming. That's right. The chosen son of God, Azan, is going to colonize the entire land. Okay, so hear me out. So that Jesus can come back to earth and fight the devil. Very ominous indeed. You did call us here to discuss the quelling of the nobles. That can wait. There's more pressing concern here. Yeah, the sky is red. What do you mean the quelling of the nobles, dude? Who or what are you really, Azan? Oh, God. Indeed, you've done all I ordered, but that does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Oh no! Kamado has never trusted me. It's, he's got fucked vibes. He, he's, he's been vibe checking me from the jump. That's why he's good friends with uh, the, the shop owner across the street. Let me ask you in turn, can you prov prove beyond a doubt that he's free from guilt? Person, the stranger appeared out of a rift in a space time. Who here can guarantee he is who he says? Who here can guarantee he is to be trusted? But that's... No one can do that. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Oh my god, this is literally debate lord shit. It's like... You can't actually disprove something. You can't fucking... You can't prove that you're not something, you know? You have the burden of proof here, sir. Come on, let's be reasonable. What's Azan to do then? Can't prove a negative. He will be given a chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the galaxy team. He remains suspect until he can clear his name. What the fuck? There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky, and so I must ask you to leave. What the fuck? What? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? That's why I chose to walk you out of here free rather than clap you in chains? Bitch, I am literally a Pokemon miser. I will have... Oh my god. I will have my NyQuil fucking destroy all of you, okay? Oh my god. Orders are orders. Oh, this sucks, dude. I can't even get a haircut. Can I just, like, get... Wait, what? Oh, uh, this way. Oh, she's yelling at me. Oh, no. I'm out of the fucking village and I'm dripless, dude. Can it really be true? This way. Dude, they're making me do the walk of shame. I 
I guess we should have expected this when the stranger this guy. Bro, I literally did fucking requests for all of you pieces of shit. All of you. Fucking all of you, dude. Okay, this is actually an analogy for... Yeah, this is, this is actually... They're fucking ice deporting me, dude. That's crazy. This is, this is fucked up. This is fucked up. But it's good, it's a good lesson for children to learn, you know what I mean? Like, undocumented immigrants are, are uh, human beings with uh, lives and... You know what I mean? They used my, they fucking used, abused my immigrant labor. And then they literally never trusted me and now they're kicking me out. Straight up. They, they're supporting me after I fucking busted ass. Oh, you'll allow it? Get the fuck out of here, asshole. <laughs> I'll mark you all down as bound for the field and camp. Safe travels. No more, no more voice acting. I'm too distraught right now. can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on your own orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Right, right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives the power to turn red. This is utterly intolerable and, I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I might find such illogical thinking tooth and nail. Yeah, see, typical debate lord. Doesn't do shit. Only wants to fucking talk about logic and reasoning. You must not. You will only cause a Zahn more pain if you're driven out as well for defending him. That's not true. Maybe I want fucking homies to be with me. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adam Adam or Iridal might take you in. Though I'm afraid they both already returned to their respective settlements. Perhaps you could go find Leon first. He's likely to be at the Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey commander has tasked you with. I might offer my advice. In this life, you will meet both admiration and abuse from others. I will just choose to view you as a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. And that only truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach to complete the Pokedex? Oh my god. Laventon, give up, bro. Give up, you fucking asshole. I just got exiled after you abused me. And you're still like, but hey, bro, like, don't fucking forget about the Pokedex. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just, I just got banished, bro. I, I literally just got banished from the village. You saw the walk of shame that occurred right behind you. And you're like, oh, yeah, I came out here just to make sure that, you know, I nudge you in the right direction. What is this? Yo, the streams get a special version of this game. My bunk copy last lacks this Oscar-winning voice acting. Yeah, dude, I got a, I got the special version. Imagine being so invested in this baby story. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry that I have a fucking heart. Okay. Yeah, oh, my bad, bro. Oh, imagine being invested in this baby story. Yeah, like, you're so fucking cool, dude. You're not even invested in it. Sick, bro. The baby story is actually not bad now. Where am I supposed to be going? The arena? You, what in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in history could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that should co could come from that rift was disaster. Help! Ah, well, that's not exactly something I can do. Not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling. 
Cleavor's frenzy as you did, you must know that. There's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden May might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. Me, on the other hand, I'm not. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a cowpoke. You'll most likely find May at the Warren Bridge, I believe, is a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somebody in the vast is a history. There's a place for you. What? So what? Now I just, like, fucking go from place to place looking for, like, one single person to help me? That's kind of fucking whack, dude. <laughs> you you just got exiled due to prosecution and now you're on your 14 day prayer from Mecca to Medina. You are Muhammad in this game. Yeah, literally. Mohammed. This game is showing you like couch surfing and shit too. Airstrike the village? I mean, I want to. What the fuck is that? Is that a Gyarados? Wait, hold up. I am so bad at these, dude. I will never be able to clap this Gyarados. I wish I could just fight it, you know? How was that thing outside of the water, by the way? Dude, this is literally Zelda. This is literally Zelda. This is quite literally Zelda, by the way. Nope. Ah, right, fuck this. All right, let's just finish this. AC 130 incoming. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone at ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I hear from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to- WHY NOT?! What the fuck?! The great word here took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support. Forgive me. So now, oh yeah, no, go to another person. And then I go to the other person and that person tells me, sorry, I can't do this. So what? Like this game is about fake friends. Pokemon is just a game about fake friends. They all suck, dude. They were, they were all like... What? Do I follow them? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. It's Volo. Yes, that's the real friend from the jump, bro. Found you at last, Azan. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I had to lose one of my favorite customers? I've literally never bought anything from this man. Or woman.
let's go i know a spot that will be the perfect hideaway leave it all up to me first of all people are saying capitalism except i've never bought anything from him here we are i know i know it's no place but you know beggars and choosers What the fuck? Shocking your work to come pester me again? Even beneath a bleeding sky, you'd never change. Always a pleasure, Mr. Skujiga, Kujita. But I'm afraid I'm not here to learn more about history's myths and legends. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that grandmommy, dude? It's, it's goth grandmommy. Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing a great disaster falls to you. The rift in the space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway, there's much to be told. Yo! How come the fucking German guy from Pokemon New York Edition, who also fell from the sky, how come he was a warden and he got like literally welcomed by everybody but when I come down it's like fuck you you're a fucking child labor slave Space time rift is set to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions In one such realm far and farther still from ours dwells almighty Sino. The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below time traces the path we tread from here and now into the future while space yawns all encompassingly surrounding us in every direction you see it don't you the two together time and space comprise all okay dude come on i'm not here to do fucking reading dude Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one, here is what you must do. Isui holds three lakes of great importance. Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trial as each will set you, and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may receive the Red Chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old worlds and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of the truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought of the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. How does the ARC phone know always what I have to do? Mr. Skogito's got a lovely workbench here, and if you need materials, I'd be glad to help you. Always happy to do business with you. Yeah, she is Bene Gesserit. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? <laughs> and it's got a letter, a letter just to you, Azan. A closer look at the letter. 
You may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilife Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an adept Survey Corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly, Sir Celine. Now then, so we're to visit the Three Lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. There it is. They're back. This commander, all of a sudden, like, he went from random fucking commander... Okay, random commander that, like, has nothing to do with either ward to literally having, uh, complete power and dominance over both of the clans now. Like, how the fuck did that happen? Long story short, you want to help without drawing attention, so it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you, though the answer should be obvious. Oh, shit. Do we get the fuck out of man too? Do we romance him? Leftover, I'm not someone's scraps. I will keep watch on the commander. I imagine I'll hear something useful from him. Shadow Man. Well, the first task will be decided, which the Hisui region, Great Lakes. Like, what would they do? Well, what are they going to do? Try to fucking Pokemon battle me? You know, when they see me out and about? Like, the Survey Corps army members? What are they going to do? Try to fight me? I could destroy them. I would one-tap every single one of them, including Commander Camacho, or whatever the fuck his name is. Dumb bitch. Yeah, Camacho, like fucking, you know. Okay, bro, he doesn't sell anything good. And it's so expensive, but I'm goddamn, I'm fucking caked. Literally doesn't matter. Eighty one grand, dude. Non-spoiler warning, it has unchangeable consequences de later depending on who you choose. I already chose. I'm not going to finish the game tonight. I'm going to do fucking... What? You didn't do the shop quests? I can't go back into the village now. You literally said you would? No, I'm not going to be able to finish it tonight. I'm not going to be able to finish it tonight. I'm going to hit the three minute ad break here and then end it for today. We'll, but we'll definitely finish it tomorrow. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to finish it tomorrow. It's hard. It's hard to fucking finish video games, man. It's hard to finish video games with this fucking chat and this community. People fucking lose their shit. When, like, everything doesn't, uh, you know, go their way. I think there's actually a lot more for real. Wait, really? 